All right, we've launched ZBrush, and uh, this is the uh, default uh, ZBrush uh, layout that we get. So the very first thing that we notice is that we have what's called the light box. Okay, and the light box can be disabled and turned on right here on the top left corner of your UI. And the shortcut, as you can see on the right hand side of the show hide light box, it says the key comma. So I'm going to hit the comma. Now I'm going to hit it again. So that's how you show and hide the light box. Next, you will notice that ZBrush is broken down into different areas. On the very top right here, you will see a series of palettes, also known as menus, okay, from alpha, brush, color, documents, etc., etc. That is called the standard menu list. Below that, we have what's called the top shelf, this area right here. As I move my cursor on top of all the icons, they tell me their name and their shortcut. If you have any questions about a specific button, all you have to do is to hold the control key and it will give you a description of what that button does. This is what we call the canvas or the document. On the right hand side we have the right tray. Then we have the right shelf. Below that we have the bottom shelf. To the left we have the left shelf. And if I click on this divider right here, which is a vertical bar with a left pointing and a right pointing arrow, it will open the left tray. So trays are areas where we can put any of these menus. When I click on a menu name inside of one of the trays, I can collapse the menu. You will notice that there is an icon on the right hand side of the menus. So if I want to drag a menu, all I do is click on the menu and then go to that icon and click and drag that menu in the left tray or the right tray. I can drag out those menus by just clicking on the icon.